Ten seconds. Radiance up. Banning time. Well, luckily, the last street, the last game I did was also team no name, so we're all right. We're all right. Um, nice. So, game one, best of two, team no name versus Charizard. I actually did zero research. We're ten seconds out. Plenty of time to how... tell an announcer you love them if that's what's in your um, heart. Five seconds. Dyer gets the ban. I was going to check how the... Radiant gets the ban. I know every team... Where's, where's the leaderboard in here somewhere? Every team's got at least one win, so there's there's no, like, breakouts. All right, uh, Dyer gets right, the ban. According to our leaderboard, Team No Name Radiant's is turned first, to uh, with three wins, and Charizard uh, one game. win behind him, so... Ripper. <laughs> Yo, what's Orphan going to play? No Hoodwink? Question mark. Oh, what a disaster. Yo, I'm so glad to see Ricky ban, dude. This hero is a nightmare. I, I, if I don't see Ricky and I don't see PL tonight, it will be a good night for me. Ten seconds. Honestly, just long enough to regret every just... choice you've made if you hurry. I don't even know what it is Five about seconds. PL. It's just so weird. The... I think choice. everyone's just so Let's busy trying to play their own game. Yeah, back. See, Greg? I like, told how you everything goes that they just don't understand or know how to um or not, not, that, not that you don't know how to deal with it but like you forget that the other team are playing the game sometimes like uh when i when i'm playing i'm just like all right there's so much map where do i need to be on the map and then you just forget that like oh shit anti-mage is farming i haven't seen him for 15 minutes crap he's got four items what do i do 10 seconds left well um eight, in nine. terms of like which heroes are powerful and which heroes aren't Ricky, Five I know is strong. PL, I know is strong. Other than that, I've just seen everybody playing Radiant's everything. Radiant's up. Banning time. I think Boy, my I impression know. of the... Um, All right. Forget, the, gets forget the, the term for them, but like the mixed stat heroes is that they're generally not that powerful. Um, I don't know if maybe I haven't... Just haven't seen something that convinces me, but yeah, just, just generally not that powerful, I think. It's, it seems like it seems like kind of weird because it feels like just on the raw numbers Five it seconds. feels like they should be pretty good, but um, Radiant gets the ban. Yeah, I don't know. There just seems to be like something there that makes them Dyer gets the ban. Makes them feel weird, and I'm not sure if it's maybe just me, uh, like just thinking there's something different, and so it feels different. But like I tried Lost Hitting with Void Spirit, for example, and it just it just felt a little bit off, and I couldn't put my finger on it. Radiant's up. Banning time. Um, because the damage should be pretty similar, like early in lane, and yeah, it's just just super weird. I think so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what uh, Charizard have to to show for us. Because yeah, Void Spirit is one of the. I actually, I, I don't. I let me refresh my memory here. Uh, it's one of the universal heroes. <laughs> Whoa! Every hero just made every noise. <laughs> Is that a is that a bug? Can I can I uh, abuse that? Oh, that's that's nice. Five so seconds. Nice. Um, yeah, it's it's strange. Undying is a I can't believe undying. All right, like, made it turn. through the patch and like arguably got buffed. I know a lot of heroes got like pretty big buffs, but I. This Undying Hero has been disgusting ever since they changed the way that uh, Decay works. And now that they've given the hero a save with the Ag Scepter, it just seems absolutely crazy. Like, he's sucking people out of black holes up. and stuff like that is just absolutely Alright, Dawnbreaker. I like, like me some Dawnbreaker. I'm the Dawnbreaker fan. Um, the Try Mike, for instance, Dawnbreaker video, if you haven't seen it, definitely, uh, definitely get that one in here because it is hilarious. Um, 10 seconds. Yeah. Five seconds. Uh, Radiance up. I can't. I think this might be the first game of the tournament for Team No Name that we see Orphan on something that's not Hoodwink. Did they. Ch I, have to, I have to bust out the patch notes here. Did they change the Dawnbreaker shot? Uh, 10 seconds. So, one, two, three. 
match. Nice. Oh, I still have a tab over there. Five seconds. Hey, did they change the Dawnbreaker shard to be less magic immunity? Uh, with debuff immunity and 50% magic resistance. Does that work the same way as the BKB then? Uh, yeah, I'm get reading it in the patch notes. It looks like it works the same way because it says provides debuff immunity for the duration. So I'm guessing pick. you can still cast. That's so weird. It's so weird. Like there's so many like little interactions that I just don't know how they work. Like. Um, for example, like if Thornbreaker is magic immune and gets Mars Spear, ten seconds. Like surely the spear goes straight through her instead of five seconds hitting her. Four, but then she would have been three, speared, so she would have been stunned. But surely the game can't keep track of that. Like there's so many things that I, I just haven't seen. Radiant like, gets to ban. Drow no, yeah, because it it would be a debuff. So. Yeah, so like Hex goes on the hero, whereas Spear is applied to them, I guess. Alright, Dyer gets to ban. Yeah. I guess, I guess it time. makes sense. It would only be targeted crowd control then. That makes BKB seem better. I thought BKB might be just garbage, but... I wonder how Shackle works even. Like, I have, there are so many interactions, like... Um, Ten seconds. You know, can you shackle a BKB to Anti Mage, right? And then Anti Mage blinks away, and then Five the seconds. shackle, like the BKB ends or whatever, and then the shackle is just across the map because Anti Mage has blinked away. Like, how does it work? God, it's so it's such an exciting time to play Dota at the moment. Dyer gets the ban. Yeah, such, such an exciting time to play Dota. There's so much going on, like, and the players even said in the lobby before the match, are you ready to be, like, stood there? Man, when I first played last night, like, the first game I played, the lane stage went for, like, We're 16 10 minutes. We're 10 seconds out. Plenty of time so to tell an announcer you love them, they, if like, that's what's in your heart. forgot that there was a Dota Five game seconds. going on around them. Things are, I think, maybe getting a bit better now that people play a few games, but one of the things that I feel initially based on my like couple of games is that any hero that farms well is uh and can farm multiple places in the map is going to be incredibly hard to stop like um heroes like wraith king who can farm with the skeletons naga who can send illusions to multiple camps like you can farm the entire uh line of camps at the bottom of the map with like one naga radiant's turn to pick um q i don't know i can't remember mirror illusion you can send them to every single camp and farm them. Like, it's, it's so strange. Let's give like, them a second. Phantom oh no, Vancer. it's not a good night. It's not a good night. This PL hero seems pretty, pretty busted at the moment. And like, I hope we don't see the upgraded diffusal. I am not sold on the upgraded diffu the diffusal upgrade. It's, it's, a, it's not desolate. Ten seconds. That's, yeah, I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but whatever the upgraded diffusal Five is seconds. that item has looked rubbish every time I've seen it. Like, you... Like, you pay all the money to upgrade it and it gives you a bit of extra stats or whatever, but, like, the thing that it upgrades is the active and you can cast it on allies and you're like, well, I'm the carry, why would I want to cast it on allies? And you can cast it on yourself, but it's only, like, slows and stuff, and it's just like... Yeah, it seems, it seems pretty scuffed. One thing with, like, the... I... I don't want to say the reluctance of like people not wanting to buy bkb and like all the stuns in the game being reduced a lot silences feel so long now compared to everything uh yeah it's true true mango mango nurse would uh would definitely hurt on dying that's true but i mean i think you can still i think you can still play it right you just need to suicide more i don't know you say you say there's like mango nurse and stuff but like you you have the option to get lotuses instead. Oh my god! Uh, I really hope these players make use of lotuses. Like, I I have not made a use of lotuses except for one game, and there was one game where I had the level three lotus 
like the third tier Lotus uh, when I was level seven, and it's just a full heal. Like it's just the cheese of hey, seven here. minutes Are we starting into the start? game, and you're Let's just like, what the fuck just right, happened? Dude, I'm full time. health, full mana. What are they gonna do? Hmm. Husker last pick. Hmm. Okay. Is it a good Husker game? Uh oh. Jesus, my Dota really wanted this to crash. All the hero. Dude, instead of one Ricky, we've got ten Rickies. Where is everybody? What the fuck? Bring him back. Yes, uh, chat's five minutes behind, unfortunately, because I'm in the lobby. But uh, yeah, Steve, -O, what I was saying is. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just confused at all the different interactions because obviously you can cast on BKB targets, um, but things like the Dawnbreaker shot, like BKB specifically states that when Avatar ends, you'll be crowd controlled. Like, and the other abilities don't state that. So can you cast on them still? I don't I don't know. It's weird. It's it's weird. Yeah, I've just, like, I've played like five or six matches, but it's not enough to have any clue what's going on in the patch. Very, uh, very, very difficult, like... Even, it's like, even the little things, like, the the ramp uh, mid here is so wide now, ready. like... Well, look at this starting, wide so get ready. you know? Like, the old ramp, it was like, maybe here, and it's just like, there's, there's so much more ramp. And that's like, everywhere, like, you... You go, like, this ramp is way wider, like, this ramp is way wider. It's just, like, everything is different, right? Like, absolutely everything, so, it's very weird, yeah. And, uh, this is how you want to start a Dota 2 game, by the way. Don't, don't worry about the runes, don't worry, like, this shit, no, I can't draw, I can only draw on the map, but yeah. This, this shit, don't worry, don't worry about this. You want to be running around high-fiving your teammates, because it builds morale. Yeah, Steve, right, you, can, gang, uh, you can target them on a BKB All right, target. Alright, battle time. And it, like, you'll be seconds. shackling the BKB 26. target, but they won't be crowd controlled, right? Until the BKB Middle ends. Mission. So, like, if AM's, like, here, right? And he gets shackled by a shaman <laughs> who is here. And then AM, like, blinks down here, right? Is the shackle gonna go all this way? Like, if the BKB ends? Like, it just... It, se it seems, like, so, so weird. There's so many possible... Wait. Is this history will be made on this day. Not actual history, make no, 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 history. No, no, no. Fiction, I guess. Yeah, okay, they, they, it's all scum made around. That was, that was a bit crazy. A bit, too, a bit too crazy. But yeah. Mm, this will please the gods. <laughs> I didn't realize Rush thought. Of course he does, because it's nighttime. Of course he starts up north. Yeah. This uh this PL hero though, this is this has seemed very, very, very strong every time I've seen it. Uh, might be uh, might be the hero of the patch. I think it, I think it has some like disgusting overall win rate. Like I think it's like 65 percent or something crazy. It's like up there with three. Um, what did Orphan end up playing? He's playing. He's playing Dawnbreaker. Okay. I think is Bill Cosby in this? Where's Bill Cosby? He's playing. Crazy. See, these guys swap off their roles like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but it just makes it confusing for me. Ah, uh, flops. Lost it to the noise. Whoa, what is happening middle? Alright, well, at least the creeps are still not as bad as the You did want that. Risking hasn't missed a single creep so far. Um, in terms of lost it, I think he's missed it. He's, and he's got like 50% of the diets too. Oscar has one lost it. This is not good foolish. But, I mean, I, overall, like, Char Brizard are destroying the lanes in the first couple waves, so... It should change once Hoskar gets, like, level 3, level 4. It should, it should be a lot better, get more points in Burning Spear. Um, and... Nobody has a grenade. The grenades are pretty cool. Pretty 
cool. I, I really like the grenade, even if it's like shit. Like thematically, like it feels cool. Just throw a grenade of your own health at someone. That's the first kill. Oh. Yeah, report our camera. First man. What the hell? To herald the break of day. Thank you, you precious weak thing. He is uh, he has been rinsed. The Husker still has one lost in. Why? Thank you. Oh, no. no, come on, you. This is it. This is the one. All right, no, no, no. this one. This. Oh my god. Oh, poor He's bought out some tango. Oh, silencer. Oh, no. hit and uh, he gets it. Oh wait, no, it's not. Could have fooled me. That was, uh, that was a pretty crazy attack. Nice job by them. At least they get a kill. Um, no, never mind. Charizard are the radiant, so. Dio are in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Oscar has doubled his last hits. That, that's insane. Um, good pull camp walk here by, uh, by Funky Monkey. Nice, nice job. Pulling camps is so much easier in this patch too. It's it's really weird. Like, one of the things I didn't see in the patch notes, but I've noticed, is that like, it's really really hard to get the neutral aggro off somebody from the other team. Like, you can't just hit the the camp once now. Um, and like even they changed like the conditions on like, people use their abilities and stuff like that. Majestic just getting pushed away from the creep wave a bit. It's all right. It's all right. Nob Jockey just gonna push away Funky Monkey and Nob Jockey keeping the small camp blocked, so it's a nice job. Although they will Coin maybe get a spawn this time around. Uh, one of the the things which I think people will like really start to utilize is the portal in like the early lane stage. Like Silencer's not a great example because he doesn't have a stun, but like it's so easy for Silencer to rotate in behind people here. Um, and it's it's a little bit harder in this area because you can't walk through the trees without getting hit by the tower but if you're um if you're up here you can actually walk like there's a tree through the pathways up here so you can like if you're raiding you can tp behind the lane as long as it's not at the tower so creep pulling and um, keeping the lane in a good spot is going to be even more important i think for lanes but, uh, we can see pretty much Domination in the last hits and denies across the board for Charizard. Riz King has probably uh, it's a, it's only half a level, so there's not that many denies. But um, I mean, he's what 23 last hits dead. So that's that's a lot. Some um, trouble maybe. No more Dawnbreaker abilities. No more Snapfire abilities. But the Scatter Blast is going to come through and get killed. And Funky Monkey dies for a second time. I don't take kindly bounty. Um, but I mean, it's it's not bad to die as Shaman in the circumstance. Like, um, PL is still having a really good lane. Like, still have ten last hits. Um, so, you know, PL's quite happy. Oscar starting to do a bit better in the mid lane. Um, still not getting getting any last hits, but. Oh, me plus you, gonna go down, silence up, turn on intelligence. Silence gonna get speed up, he's one of the Mars, and Anonymous cleans that up. Funky Monkey? Alright, he's, he's fine. Sapphire mm -hmm. used all the abilities, so. Funky Monkey just walking back. But yeah, overall, you see like a, a 10 minion. Oh, Jesus, I didn't just say that word. A 10 creep advantage in all the lanes. Before. Charles Rizard. Looks like Radiance Courier oh, just kicked the biscuit. Alright. So doesn't he know trouble? Looks like Hostile. Gonna make something happen, doesn't it? Uh, he doesn't have a lot of mana here. And he's now silenced up. Hoska, not level 6. Not able to close the gap. And Whoop, they're back. Alright, everyone, just stop talking about them. Looking to secure a kill here. Not much damage on the void to bring down Huskar, and Huskar gonna regen that up with two points in Berserker's Double point. damage! Picks up a double damage rune, and Risk King with nothing left in the tank is gonna have to go back to the house. <laughs> Good job by Frog, and... Bill Cosby's not really getting punished any more than he was for this. He's he's hanging out in the uh, the same spot he was in lane, and... You know, he, he already wasn't doing great. Dogs get better up now, but... 
one point in, early point in Gus, gonna keep him alive. Very nice, very nice. And he is getting solo experience here, so... You know, maybe not getting all the last hits you want, but solo experience is nice. But... Overall, the lane's being uh, pretty convincingly won by Charizard at this point. A good good pull by knob jockey not only keeping the creeps where you want them but you know getting the exp for the camp as well that sort of thing getting the gold you'd love to see it and Just let's check out the network see if it's really as bad as it looks it's not great the 900 network lead and it is you know, potentially going to be an issue you, you pick this husk up because you expect it to destroy the void spirit right so being a void spirit rotating bottom now has phase boots up um, they do spot all quite far up in the lane but he's got so much room to run he's out of there he, they they spot the uh, spot the rotation on this ward and <laughs> he just runs off to the side and uses the extra 40 percent of the map that, that wasn't there two days ago and risking hanging out here, but he's still underneath the wall. Radiance Middle and Tower is hanging on by a brick. So. Well, just wasting all of his time, and now they're actually going to spot him smoke up. So uh, he might still find something with this rotation, though. You don't expect to smoke up into TP, so he might find something top here. Bill Cosby in trouble. He's going to get actual step on the remnant connects. The net lands and now the spear forward. I actually, don't even need the spear to bring down Drowers. Just the. Uh, I'm surprised nobody there. showed you sooner. If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's top build, tower, I'd put on a hard count. But that Hospital baby is coming down. Hospital has had free reign over mid this whole time, so... You know, that... Looks like Dyer's top tower is in trouble. It was 900 network lead for Void when he left the lane, and now it's 600, so... Does get a kill on Drow, but Hoskar is... You know, recovering. Dyer's top tower now, is than really taking a beat. Now more so... You gotta, you gotta make this count, and they are gonna just destroy the tower with this one rotation. Dyer's top tower is just jacked well. Rick Belly up. Radiant's the middle net tower is about to be a pile of smoking six, rocks. So he's quite a bit of HP, but now Mars is here and he's real. Does get the silence off, but uh, the hex is going to be jacked. He's stuck now. Speed in the rear wall. Off of nine. Stormbreaker gonna bring down the PL now. Snap by the Net chance. doesn't land. Stormbreaker with a big stick and not many abilities left, but it's an all out crawl and suddenly everyone's in the bottom lane. Except Dyer's the top mid -lane. tower is really taking except a Except for the mid laners, so. Um, off punch and charge. Does Soul Ring though, he's a bit careful here. Look at that rotate bottom. Does get speared away immediately. Does a lot of damage to Anonymous, but there's not much follow up. Snap fire with not enough mana for the cookie, so. It's going to be chilling and frog using this time to get level 6 mid lane. Bush looking for what he can, but now here comes Riz King with the sword. Walks in with the auto attack, lands the ring with the hand, with this in late, and now shackles up on the Hostile, Hostile goes. Lee Wink finds Stormbreak in the back line, Hostile goes down. And might want to haul some ass down to their bottom to, tower. Uh, to bail out of there. Silencer does pick up the shield rune, but is still in no man's land, has a long way to run, but. Uh, no defusal, so he's just gonna walk back to his tower and uh, manage to live safely. Alright, has anyone picked up their wisdom runes? Both wisdom runes are still available. And that's where um, Hoodwink does almost have level 6, but. Um, you know, Silencer, instead of getting this lane, maybe you'd see Snapfire go get it, because that would be Snapfire's level 6 as well. Shaman go get it, because that would be his level 6. I do need to pick up those wisdom runes because they are quite good. One thing it's been like oh, arena bottom, spear not slaying on anybody, but a lot of follow-up damage actually. Spear comes out now and all is shackled off. I'm gonna go down to the beat down by thing and four heroes is more than two and they just press their buttons and find the kill. You have to think that uh, Drow is getting more out of the map here. Um, Silence are finding a lot of solo experience. Dyer doesn't haul ass to help out that bottom tower. And they're not going to be a tower left. Left. The, the Serpent Ward's going to get dropped to push down this tower. And Bush might be able to defend a couple of... Uh, or you win know, a couple of Serpent Wards. But with another Greek wave coming in and... Mars tanking for the Kali Greek. It's going to need to be more rotation. He's got the Storm up 6. Gets hit by the Remnant, but... 
Start for a little base, we'll get a little bit of a get a little bit of 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 a Securing some Lotus's top does does eat one there, but the pings come out for the portal. Are they gonna portal behind the Drow? Drow is so far up, but no, they they're still hanging around bottom. And actually, both teams hanging around bottom. Must go up, still climbing up. Cookie Stun goes out on the Mars. Scatter Blast is there, but not a lot of pull up. Orphan too far away gets pegs. He's chilling. Both teams are just chilling, I guess. Like the dire figured out where Radiant's top tower is. Actually, Drow going down top lane too. So. Drow going to fall as well, and the first person to use the portal. If you're a fan of Radiant's top tower, I shut my eyes right now. He's going bottom. Um, but for what the hell is? Hell is their bottom? So I'm gonna group up. Maybe there's smoke or something coming here. Doesn't look like it. And all of Team No Name are rotating away towards this PL in middle. Silencer is level 6, has two mangoes to be able to uh, Guess pass it's global, shot. but they don't have a lot of crowd control. They have the global and the snapfire cookie. Maybe a knockoff storm breaker, but yeah, we wouldn't think it's enough to kill a PL. And Silencer actually going to get found by a risky heal. Gets right click down after, after the step. And now Orphan. Uh, nice link arena and Oscar speared up. Oscar a lot of help though. The snap like this is coming out. Oscar manages to get out to the side and clean up Mars and Dawnbreaker shackled up. Not really caring right now. Here comes EL does get silenced up immediately. Uh, and Serpent Ward's gonna get palmed up a little bit and good. Another good wink net, but nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Oh, they came back after all. Alright, I owe you five. That's unlucky. He just uh Hog of the armlet off, and uh, there was still a uh, good wing thing coming out. Well, he does manage to pick up the haste, but I was taking the silence in the meantime, but yeah. That uh, was very unfortunate for Oscar. It's, uh That fight was really quite a big win for them, I think. They managed to clean off the Mars and tell fun the boards, but unfortunately just lost Oscar at the end. And that's the second time we've seen a uh, acorn shot bounce out of the Mars. And Mars actually with the, the boots on mine now. I uh, don't think he had it in that fight. Uh, Global's gonna come out, but the hasted void just gonna run off. He's actually still keen for a kill here. He's gonna step in. They got down. Once it. Dawnbreaker ulti comes in, the second step to get out of that turn for the Dagon. Dawnbreaker ulti got cancelled. Must have been the Mars to be a Stop the Dawnbreaker ulti and Riz King gets away with that oh, one. Dyer's middle tower is insured. Now gonna push the thing is standing tower. on its last brick. If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's top tower, I put on a hard hat. That baby is coming down. And Anonymous gonna get found out in blink cancel, but they have such poor follow-up. Like, who do you, uh, who do you, who do you send in? I bet. No stop. Yeah, the Snapfire Cookie is the extent of their stun, so they're going to have a very hard time locking down PL or Void. PL, portal in back bottom. Just going to go farm. Yeah. Coin for me. Keeping a new fruit camp. Very cool. Uh, someone did actually pick up the Wisdom Rune at some point, I guess. So. It's got awful Watch keeping change. bottom, but... He's quite low. Maybe they're going to look to go on the Mars? Oscar just farming up the ancient camp and Mars gonna TP out the time, so and actually Risky keeping away middle of the cookie, gonna stop him with Risky, but still Risky's in no man's land, gets speared up in the arena. Uh, nice use of the Lotus there to keep him alive, and he's actually gonna find the kill on the Void's group, but uh, he's very dead, gets some damage out, but Charmin Hex, one more attack, not quite enough, the Hoodwink Acorn shot bounces away, the Shackle Rune Charmin's gonna find him, and now it's Knob Jockey vs. The World, they have enough CC to keep him, the Spear actually misses, and uh, another Hex, Knob Jockey has everyone so low, one more hit, Oscar's gonna clean up one, on to Charmin now, Charmin gonna tick down to the Burning Spears, gets away for a bit, but falls and Anonymous forced to run away. 
Alright, well, I drowned a lot out of that fight, I think. 603 gold. Uh, where's the XP? Yeah, 1000 XP. That's that's quite a lot. So, Drow, uh, finding quite uh, quite good levels out of that fight. I can't believe how long we have done. Yeah, that, that 400 health from the Lotus was crazy there. You can see the, the strength of that. Um, and then the, the next one up is a, uh, is 900 health, so you can see even, oh, your cameraman's just the a little bit, it's all from there, yeah, that's, that's very great. So, the Let's keep it at least. Link, uh, Bushwhack doesn't connect, but I'll get some people, so I'll take those. I'm not sure if they're going to have enough in the tank to You can tell Dyer's middle tower is in trouble for the way it's being destroyed, it. as I speak. They're bringing Bill Cosby in, but Huskar's not really in a able to fight in the woods get dropped. Uh, nothing to take the tower, but looks like they're just going to back off. Dyer is kicking oh, sweet hell out of Dyer's middle the tower has kicked the concrete bucket. Going for a desert on Mars, so he's... Um, and PL has the fusel blade finished, but he's just farming up the storm. And, uh... You can see, I think Charter Rizard have opened up the map themselves quite a bit, uh, killing all the tier 1 towers, but they're also using more of the map. Uh, you can see how spread out their heroes are, as opposed to how close Team No Name's heroes are. Like, Team No Name, I don't think they've killed any of the camps along the top here all the game. Like, this is all gold, look at it all. All this gold just chilling out up here, so. They're, you know, maybe not adapting to the, the new patch, whereas. Uh, it's, it's really hard to like know where to be to farm and rotate at the same time now it's just it's gone from being so um i don't want to say i think the word is maybe mechanical like you kind of everyone was very set in the ways the games played out very similarly whether you were winning or losing you get this area of the map you don't get this area of the map so Okay, get speed up into the arena orphan. Also in. He's gonna keep him alive. Quite a bit of him up. Silence comes out quite late, so uh, everyone just running away at the moment. Boogie is slowed down by the silencer curse and but four star forward gonna keep him out. Now they're gonna run up the high ground. And Boogie, actually the the hex and the bush are gonna hold them back. Uh, hex stopping that uh, the final uh Final hit of Starbreaker there, so Blue Wink able to just walk off. And you see the crowd control problem. They, they react well to keep really Huskar alive, but everybody from Charizard just walks away when it's uh, when it's happening. And now Ping's coming up bottom. Orphan gonna be able to back off in time. Does have Greaves up, so, you know, respecting the Greaves timing. And the network lead hasn't really grown for Charizard. Um, it's. You know, still sitting at 4k, but with how the lanes when you still kind of go a fair bit better for them. But apparently not. But Dyer's middle now, tower is like maybe one big rotating bottom. A lot of uh, pings coming out on all, but yeah, they're just not happening. And oh, there's a Drow Ranger in the game. I forgot about Drow. She's uh, quietly farming away. And. Into uh, look how much dire vision there is in this area. Drow is uh, unless she gets smoked on, she's not getting caught. And actually, they're gonna group up for the tormentor at 20 minutes. Someone's getting a shot. This is uh, this is good. I think it's damage to kill it. Radiant scan uh, for enemy. I'm not sure there's gonna be something. Us gonna come in now, maybe. The green's gonna keep everyone still alive, but look how much damage the frog is taking. All right, they find it and they get the uh. Shard on the Snapfire, so that's uh, that's pretty big. And now, at 20 minutes, Snapfire almost has the same net worth as Drow Ranger. That's pretty crazy, actually. And I think you're pretty glad for that. Sansa can cancel Mars's blink. Radiance Middle Tower is hanging on by a brick. Lift to keep the shot, the Cardi alive. And now, the wards come out, the like pressure in the tower, and the Cardi's still shows. alive. Another creep wave coming middle in. Tower is about to be a the pile of smoking Shaman wards just beating on the tower. Now down to half health now, and Reese King gets silenced up, but the, he's on the high ground, there's no vision. Which is going to run up, gets spear back down, gets Pookie forward, and the stun is going to be enough to kill him. A huge bushwhack, catches four, but there's no follow-up. And the global silence comes, and 
Charizard have made the decision. They are running. They are on their way out. Yeah, successful rock. tower defense from uh, from Team No Name, and they find the I think at the time he might have been the high level here. They're actually going to smoke up on the back of this. I think it might be there. Down. Down. Uh, but how do you catch someone out of smoke? It's going to be quite difficult. Dyer's top Bill tower is really a taking a beating. And he, uh, yeah, I guess everyone from Team No Name is just going to ba back off. Team No Name need to be careful, though. There wasn't a Don't whole lot now, of abilities to Radiant's use. Bottom tower is getting really good. He's literally. TP in, and he is TP in here. Mars going to flip all the screen. Catch the Drow Ranger. Drow, I'm not going to let him Drow very dead here, though. Goes down already. Shackle onto Dawnbreaker. Bush getting Dagon down. Dawnbreaker's still relatively healthy. Snapflight kiss is coming in now. Anonymous needs to be a little bit careful. Gets forced enough away. Funky Funky's gonna die to the Dawnbreaker hammer. Uh, Dawnbreaker's still with a lot left in the tank. Anonymous quite low. Dave around the corner to the Dawnbreaker and Rizky's just gonna have to back off. Heal now gonna show up to the flight, taking the portal, and he's gonna run in from behind. Oh, the cookie actually cancels the uh, life break, and I've got now speed up, but the chest is in on the back line. Frog's gonna go down. The door break rolls are coming out, keeping which healthy. Frog gets chased down, and Nobjocky is running away, but Dawson and Bush are standing strong at the moment. The disarm on the PL. Dagon comes in. PL's taking a lot of damage. He does get another W out and get him kept alive, and Orphan gets cooked away, but. The remnant or oh, so no close to catching on the Dawnbreaker there. Majestic chasing down though. He might find the range for this. Risking not a lot of mana. Drow range actually respawn. He's coming in. Does get the silence, but the Manta is there to get rid of the silence. And another hit. Majestic getting slowed up. Another Drow Ranger hit. The Aetherim landing. And Majestic gonna try and juke away in the trees. Uh, and Knob Jockey, I think, might. No, I don't think he did spot him there. Nice TP away. The. The ping there came from green. Who's green? Ah, oh, Huska. Huska did spot it, so they did see him, but the PLN is getting to get out of there. Actually, that flank went a little bit worse than I thought it was going to go. And the one breaker with the Grease, very, very big. And actually, Anonymous finds Frog mid lane, does a lot of um, Wush is here and making good progress towards the Axe, and the Axe might be a game changer. It's going to be one of the better forms of crowd control. They just need to not cancel life break with the cookie. Um, Riz King coming in now has the level two Dagon. Yo, is, uh, is Dagon sick? That's nine all stats. Now that's not that much damage. It's only well each stat is one point five damage. So it's 1.5 damage, and actually Remnant going to catch now, but Dagon comes bottom out. Tower is getting obliterated. Orphan's still a lot of health left in the tank, so they're not going to commit anything. Anonymous, no arena, used to kill Sniper for the stun actually, oh nice blink away by Anonymous. Good cookie attempt there by, uh, by Knob Jockey. I think, uh, how's the levels? Haste. With the haste and uh, running around the back line, looking for Frog here. He might kill Frog. This is the first step. No spice. Remnant though, and Dagon's gonna be enough. No, the Greaves keep Frog alive. Silence comes out, but the Yules is there, and uh, Riz King with the haste is gonna get away from this one. Spear covers his retreat, and he walks that one off. And Global Silence, you feel very happy with that. Uh, Orphan really now gonna get pushed back up. Riz King actually painting oh, around, does yeah, land another yeah. Remnant. He's gonna get silenced up by Drown. The kiss is coming in. Uh, Riz King goes down. Dyer's top tower is really taking a beat. Yeah, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit bold running back in there, but Mars Arena now, they might bring the PL in to try and take a fight here. Orphan. If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's uh, top tower, I'm the tower that baby is coming down. But they're not bringing PL in. This is how it is. That's it for Radiant's middle the tower. Second tower of the game. We'll never forget you. For the first Radiant's time in the game, I can take the gold lead. Dyer's so. top tower is really taking a beat. Uh, PL TPing bottom, just interested in that. Actually, a smoke up. Where are they smoking to? The tier one tower is still here, friends. Be careful. Are they gonna smoke to the enemy tormentor? All right, Bill Cosby spotted by the creep wave. Oh my god, there's three wisdom runes. Oh my god, every there's three levels just given over. And actually, there are the tormentors. Mars blinking, flying to spear on the drow ranger. Drow ranger, half HP, still alive. Risking now to block the drow ranger. Mars goes down. Oscar, the light low. Does get an armor toggle. Dawnbreaker all the way. Keep him 
alive. The shards come down, but the, uh, the ward, sorry, comes down and the shackles there, but there's no more follow-up. Looking for more, they're just gonna farm off the Huskar wards. But you can't do the Tormentor while they're hanging around here, so... There's, there's just no way, there's, there's no way. This is bold, to say the least. They're, they're just gonna take so much damage. Frog is half HP, not Frog is half HP, but they do it anyway, and... Drought Ranger gets the shard and once again gets the shard and jumps up the net worth the second. If Dyer doesn't haul ass and help out that bottom the tower, there's not going to be a tower left. If you're a fan of Radiant's uh, top tower, yeah, I'm take this last two one too. I mean, you're top top tower, 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 like they might want to defend it, but uh, not going to happen for them. And the Dyer's is king of sweet hell. Radiant's coming in double half the ring. Things are looking dire. If they bring all the heroes in this, but what Frank? Frog is in trouble. He's going to go down immediately. Close him up. Awesome, but not before. Execute the yeah, good snap fire kisses. Monkey, monkey in a lot of trouble. One more snap fire kiss. does actually burn down to the spear and the. I heard you were all. The anonymous blink is going to find more. He does land the spear on the dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker is quite low. Uh, life break for from Pascal. I'm not sure what the life break onto. The arena's now up from the balance. Does place it before he dies, but there's nothing left. And now Hoodman getting beaten down by Hoskar. Life break's gonna be up in a second. Hoodman turns into push like doesn't play the two heroes. Will burn down and now Risky hanging around like he still wants a bit of it, but he has no steps left. Of course, racing rugby cricket more trouble. But if I was, I'd bet on Radiant's top tower coming down. Not Jockey gonna get blown up. Actually, the rent that this is with Dagon is enough. I do have to be on some kind of killing spree to get those numbers. But it is a shame about that wonderful dragon. Farming up a storm, I guess. Um. Balance are running bottom to uh, pick up another Wisdom Rune, and what's the XP advantage like? You can see that uh, there's a fairly decent XP advantage for the Team No Name, and you know, along with the Network League, they're basically fighting their way out of the deficit here that they found themselves in, so... There's, that said, they are bringing five members to every fight, and... Um, Yo, what's our camera doing? You didn't even notice. Wish now with the Aegis and the uh, Ags will be flying out to him as well. And there's the completed Ag, so if he life breaks someone, they will probably die. Bill um, Cosby going for uh, no DKB. Gonna pick up a Sange to try and uh, reduce the amount of time he's crowd controlled, but. It's not really the issue, the issue is the damage, I think. Not the crowd. I, I don't know. It's, uh, if you're a fan of Radiant's Top Tower, but, I'd shut yeah, my eyes right now. I mean, now. looking good for Team No Name now. Suddenly, uh. The game looks very different now. It did 5 10 minutes ago. Um. It's like Dawnbreaker uh, having a, a bit of a skate. I saw the funniest, uh. Lone Druid animation bug, like the bear was just sitting down but sliding around, like going for a skate. Um, I think if the only thing you can do to fix this is to like cast the ability again and like you know reset the animation. So I don't think disconnecting and reconnecting will fix it because I don't think it's like a client side thing, I think it's uh, yeah, an actual thing. So Fight me! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's okay, a nice now where were we? Play Stormbreaker. Oh. Yeah, still, still sliding around. You need to, uh, need to cast the ability again, and it will fix it. So as soon as you cast any ability, but. Uh, the lock is right, we have actually lost the ability to inspect heroes. That's kind of sad, I don't know, we'll see what that one went. But yeah, Dawnbreak with the electric slide, you know. How do you style on people? Well, you T-pose on them. It's not quite T-pose, but it's... And there we go, it should be fine now. The animation will fix itself up. So, away we go, and that, like, that happens a lot. Actually, there's no attack animation right now. Alright, never mind. Oh, we go. Where did Frog just die? Oh god, he died there. That's unfortunate. 
I think if I'm Frog, I'm pretty mad at you. Like, what, what is Void Spirit doing here? <laughs> of all places he could be on the map, why is he here? And Void Spirit actually getting a Chrysalis delivered. I think the Light Break coming out from Huskar, and Void Spirit goes the opposite direction, so they won't find him, but... Um, nice attempt at cooking him forward there. Just not enough. And I mean, middle tower is taking one ages, hell of a yeah, beating. Dawnbreaker is properly bugged. Um, that is that is <laughs> still holding the hammer even after he throws at that. All right, well, I I told a lie about uh, using the ability and. Yeah, that's uh that's unfortunate. Um, and regrettably, we don't have the. Uh, the valve admins on hand to remake the wally, so he's just gonna have to put up with it. What's Anonymous doing? Alright, he's got the, got the Desolator, almost finished BKB. Bill Cosby has finished a full S and Y. Um, let's change that back to net worth, so. Oh, they actually did the Tormentor again, and Silence with the Axe Shot. This one kind of sucks, so I don't. I'm not sure you, uh. Really care too much about this. I didn't realize that they changed the shot. Hope Dyer's it. middle tower is insured. Um, now it scales standing on, on its last brick. The level of the ability as well, I guess. But up to five install and five int is quite a bit. Like if Mars dies three times, it's like a third of his int. Uh, oh no! I knew I should have screenshotted it. I. Uh, That's unfortunate. I thought, no, no, someone else is posting Wobby. I won't need to do it. Oh my god. What is happening? Is this not bouncing? Oh my god, I didn't I didn't even read this. Um It's just a passive now? If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's Top Tower, I put okay, on a hard yeah, yeah. That baby's coming down. Things. There's too many new things. I'm like slowly clicking on people and like getting all the uh Dyer's top all tower things. Even though I read them, like there was, there was so much to read the pad. Radius middle tower is hanging on by a brick. This T2 has backdoor protection, so they are kind of beating on it for fun. Huskar. Only if you're in the vicinity of Dyer's top tower, I put on a hard cap. That baby is coming okay, down. Gonna push in bottom wave as well and I mean top lane they get the towers getting hit as well so that if you're in the vicinity really good of the top tower I put on a hard so that so a great job <laughs> we'll find this way. and actually the team can get cancelled really Oscar really shackled up these two guys looks like Dyer's curly just bit the bucket hey this goes down and now actually the team can cross the spear pushes him straight through the hoodwink tree hello gay that's unfortunate. Another push like the land. The arena comes out. He breaks Huskar out of it. Though. Now Huskar loses the life break, dealing a lot of damage in here. The BKB proc. PL now shows up. And, uh, Wish in a lot of trouble. Does get jacked up. Give me a beat down by PL. And the boys. And, uh, strength in the silence came out too late. And Orphan actually managed to die in this fight too. So, not so gone. no Dawnbreaker ulti to come in and keep Huskar alive. And really good map movement out. Charizard to Hope you know, pressure break planes. That thing is standing on his left. back and capitalize on space again. Oscar, a bit of a bold TP there. Middle tower is the stone dead. In the middle of the lane. And now, uh, with the Shaman Awards, this might even be Rex. The Dyer's no middle back. tower is taking the one hell down. of a beating. Um, the, the Mars Desso is going to reduce the tower's armor. And everyone hitting it, they pull the creeps away, but... Now we tell Dyer Hill have a lot of pain to wait until it goes down. There's another glitch, but Dyer's middle barracks is pretty bad. And it goes to Nelly Rex as well. Dyer's middle barracks is just bad. He's probably going to stop him from getting anything else, but yeah, down on the lane of barracks. Just like that. Go from uh, pushing their tier 2 with an Aegis to losing your lane of barracks. So that's most unfortunate. And I think Riz King... <laughs> Now with the Daedalus complete, um, only going level 2 Dagon and choosing to, to finish the Daedalus. 
and actually maybe a fly breaking up over just standing up front and we'll pull the ganger in play. Let's get out of there and we'll get to the front. Pull SPL back, but there are not really any fighting cooldowns for the side of Charizard. They might just smoke up and go again. They have a smoke. Might be good. There's a smoke here. And there's a lot of grouping up action going on here. There could be a smoke and go. And... Alright, maybe not. Anonymous wants to buy... His Sanj at the secret shop? Okay. Alright. They, these guys are hanging around like they want to smoke, but uh, the other two fours do not want to smoke. Where's Drought? How is her item progression going? Has finished the Mithril Hammer Man, on the way to the BKB, not like Dyer's bottom but still and it shows. What, five, six hundred gold away from the BKB. All right, Dyer's there's the smoke. All over for enemies. Four men smoke I gonna meet up with Risky. Will get Dyer's courier has sure lost its brave battle here. with a bunch of swords and fireballs. Um, Taken too soon. Bill Cosby actually gonna reveal the war. Does silence uh, is up? But here comes the smoke break. Tomorrow's arena for the catches on the drought. The silence comes out. Does stop everyone on the BKB. Drought kind of hurricane like forward. Majestic on the back line. Silly horse. Drought alive, but it's good for him. Now the life break gonna come out, but. Bushwhack stops that, and Oscar taking a lot of damage. The Reeves come out. Majestic, very low from the snap by kiss. This is so low, but does manage to drop Ganger away. Oh, and Silence gonna die from the wards there. Fly back from Drown, and Riskin's in again. Does catch into Husker. Husker gonna get bursted down, and now Snapfire also getting bursted down. The Drow Shard actually on the high ground, just hitting away, and uh, Riskin gonna disassemble away, and. Only Shadow Shaman dying, a lot of low heroes there for Charizard, but they find the fight win and grab it back. It was a good buyback, don't get me wrong. I mean that she's not there's no reward for it. They don't take take anything off the back of it and it just puts Drow so far away from the BKB. Um, you know, it might might not even see the BKB coming. The voice going through a satanic. That's pretty crazy. I mean, good to purge off the silencer ult, I guess. Um, I think uh, I think dispels might be might be the new BKB things. But yeah, Drow is just getting found with the arena every time. The no BKB, uh, Drow just doesn't have the ability to survive, and doesn't have the ability for the the team to keep her alive either. Is gonna gonna try and get back towards the BKB, but still further away from the BKB now than she was five minutes ago when I last checked. So it's unfortunate. And anonymous checking if Roche is up. This will hasten my footfall. Uh, is very close this morning actually. It's gonna spawn ten, in ten seconds, but maybe they won't uh, won't quite spot that one out. Oh, it's making his way through the uh, lane. He's gonna see Orphan showing on the creep wave. The big board, the spear, not gonna connect. The BKB does get him out of there, and the Aether Remnant. Um, looks like that was dispelled straight away. Thing, you precious weak, you precious weak thing. Yeah, it does. It looks like maybe Aether Remnant won't persist through the BKB, but it's really interesting that you can tank the Aether Remnant with the BKB. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting interaction for sure. But game kind of slowing down quite a lot. Roshan has spawned, so uh, up to someone from Charizard to, to go and check that to, to figure it out. And I think Team No Name feeling the pressure a bit. They're quite, uh, quite restricted, quite grouped. There's only one hero hitting a creep wave. Silence is standing on the higher end, waiting for the other creep wave to come up to him. But Drow, not finding anything towards this BKB, is still a thousand gold away. Gonna get a creep wave middle, but... Dyer is scanning for enemies. 200 attack range, that's Probably great. hoping to catch a glimpse of them nude. Kind of alone, the smoke up's coming, they're gonna try and go on the hoodwink maybe, but... Walk off. The smoke to get revealed there. Awesome. Just hits the creep wave, so. Uh, for what? 
Um, is Funky Monkey gonna check the Roshan, or is he he's just gonna take the portal bottle? Oh, actually, not yeah. Does take the portal from the jump. Smoke up while they're killing Roche. Want to make use of his BD. I mean, he has a lot of right click damage here with the Daedalus, so if he finds someone, he might kill them and might catch people off guard thinking that they're near the Roche band. And Frog is going to get killed off guard. He does get dragged back by the Remus and blown up. Be stopped, oh, you're fired. This is textbook unstoppable. Uh, this is literally what being unstoppable looks like. on this there. Just very sad for Frog and no buyback for him. Funky Monkey with the wards up. Just, uh, Gonna barrel down the lane with this team. And Risky does get stunned up here somehow. Um, that was that was a weird interaction. The board's now gonna be dropped bottom and how do you defend this barracks? Gotta come up with an answer pretty quickly because your melee rex is going down, it's half melt. They're not gonna defend it, they're letting it go. Still cause me hurricanes forward does not find a kill. Nope. In the meantime, Dawnbreaker actually tossed in onto the Shaman, does destroy him. My grand but, it's a beautiful I mean, day trade a Rax for your you Shaman, you're going to be happy with that, and oh, Majestic has the ninja gear, okay. So, good for one minute smoke but only one lane of Rax, and I mean, you commit commit nothing to uh, to getting that bottom I am lane not of Rax, except for the Shaman unless it's ward, basketball. So. When Shaman Football, respawns, racing, and rugby, cricket, or I just barrel down the plane. I bet on Radiant's yeah. top tower coming down. And we haven't seen Team No Name find a way to defend their base. They are going to smoke up now. But there's no hero on this half of the map, so they're not going to find any, anything with this smoke. And they really, really need to. Um, Behold! Yeah, it doesn't matter where they, where they check, they're not going to see anyone at all. And, uh, I mean, it's strange they're down here looking because they would have seen most of the heroes showing on this top right wave, so. Oh, they're going to take the portal? All right. All right, a bit of a flanking maneuver. All right, never mind. I got excited for nothing. They're just going to walk, walk back to base. Uh, they do see heroes on the shrine. Actually, Hoodwink coming down here. Hoodwink on his own flanking maneuver gonna decide against it and they just go back to running down the road. Where is Shaman? Bringing up the rear does have the ward, mass serpent wards now available. And there is one lane of racks left, so Team No Name are going to have to commit to defend this lane of racks. Surely, surely they have to commit to defend this lane of racks. They're not smoked up at the moment, so do you need to be careful. Riz King with level 25 does have the Astro Step crit. I heard a BKB go off, did I? Did I hear a BKB go off? Maybe not. That wasn't even Dawn Rear IQ, I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing it, but. Dude, risking is so brave just walking up, but you know he's a threat. He's on to Drow. The Remnant's gonna land. Drow gets Remnant up, but no crit on those steps, so decides to not to uh, not to commit for the kill and just dissimilate out of there. And Aegis still on the PL for a minute thirty. Might see PL look to get a bit brave on the high ground. Riz actually looking under the tier fours. Gonna get pushed away once again, but he's broken prodding. Now Anonymous is gonna get knocked off while DKB with the Arena Spear catches him throughout. Does he get the DKB off? Um, is Hoodwork animation broken as well? Oh, uh, uh, Huskar died in the meantime to Riz King. Uh, so throughout DKB down, Green Bull Wars got dropped on Not super effective, but they're able to muscle their way forward. Uh, Heroes from 
mute my mic and be back with game two sorry i don't have <coughs> i mean uh production hasn't set up any of the uh the other stuff so unfortunately there will be uh no like cover screen or anything it'll just be you'll just be looking at the lobby have a great time <laughs> 